Hey everyone, today I'm going to be answering questions about where your stimulus check is and what you need to do to receive it. And that's your first stimulus check, the first $1,200 stimulus check that has gone out for many people but still hasn't gone out for a lot of people. I'm going to be covering questions that were asked in my previous videos in the comments section. And these questions mainly answer questions from those on SSI, SSDI, Railroad Retirement Benefits, Social Security Survivors or Retirement, and VA Benefits Recipients. If you have any questions that I haven't answered, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. If this is your first time to my channel, thank you so much for watching. My name is Justin and I cover stimulus checks and stimulus payments and when you're going to receive those. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so that you know anytime I upload a new video. And please smash the like button so that the YouTube algorithm can share this with other people. So the first question comes from Mary Ann and she asks, when is my husband going to get his stimulus check? I am his payee. Thank you, Mary Ann, for your question. So representative payees have been delayed and the IRS has said that they are going to start receiving their checks. Those with representative payees, they're going to start receiving their stimulus checks or stimulus payments at the end of May. Originally, they have the date of May 27th on there and it has since been switched to end of May. So those of you that have a representative payee on SSI, the IRS has said that you should receive your stimulus payment by the end of May. Those of you on SSDI and have a representative payee, the IRS hasn't specifically said when you will receive your payment, but I'm going to assume that they meant both SSI and SSDI and representative payee should receive their payment starting at the end of May. The next question is from Stacy Brown and she asks, what is the IRS phone number? Thank you for the question, Stacy. The IRS phone number is 1-800-919-9835. Now let me say a few things about the IRS phone number, the IRS hotline. A lot of people have been calling the IRS hotline and only getting an automated message. It sounds like depending on how the phone call is routed, you will receive either an automated message or an automated message and then a chance to speak with a representative. If you get the automated message and you go all the way through the menu options and it sends you back to the main menu, then you need to call back if you want to speak to a representative. You're going to just keep going through that same automated message over and over again if it repeats itself and sends you back to the main menu. If after listening to the entire automated message, it then turns on hold music, then you need to just wait and it should connect you with a representative. When you connect to a representative, however, some representatives have been able to give out specific information after you give them some of your information. However, other representatives have not been helpful at all and have only basically said exactly what's on the IRS website. So it's been very hit and miss. The IRS hotline has wasted a lot of people's time, but if you get lucky, then you may speak with a representative that may answer your question. The next two questions I got were similar, so I'm going to answer them together. The first of those is from Leroy, and Leroy asks, I have SSI and SSDI and I still haven't received the check yet. Should I be worried I'm not getting one? And DK Lucas one asks, I receive SSI and disability and have direct deposit and have not received my stimulus payment. Is there anything I need to do? Leroy and DK Lucas one, Thank you both for your questions. So many people on SSI and SSDI have still not received their stimulus payments. While it is hard not to worry because it is taking so long and the IRS has been dragging their feet and not giving you very much information specific to your stimulus payment, if you are on a government benefit of SSI, SSDI, Railroad Retirement, Social Security Retirement, or Social Security Survivors Benefit, or VA Benefit, you will receive a stimulus payment and you do not need to do anything as long as you receive that started receiving that payment before the start of 2020. So if you started receiving it in 2019 or before, then you do not need to do anything. If you did not file taxes 
and did not use the non-filers tool, then you will be able to receive your stimulus payment the same way you receive your government benefit, whether that's on a direct express card, whether that's direct deposit, or whether that's a check in the mail. And for those of you that receive a check in the mail, they've also issued some debit cards to some people are gonna, and they are going to start sending those debit cards out instead of a check to some people. But basically, if you receive those government benefits and you re started receiving them before the beginning of 2020, you will receive a stimulus check and you do not need to do anything and you will receive it the same way you currently receive your government benefits. The next question comes from David and he asked, Justin, I have a question. Please, was I supposed to go to the non-filer tool and submit my information? I was told not to and just to wait. I get SSI and SSDI and I have no dependents. I'm not claimed and I use Direct Express. Should I go on a non-filers or is it too late? David, thank you for your question. First off, it's not too late and you do not need to use the non-filers tool. The only people that need to use the non-filers tool are those that do not receive government benefits at all, any of the SSI, SSDI, Social Security Retirement, Social Security Survivors, RRB, or VA benefits. If you don't receive any of those government benefits, and you do not file taxes, then you need to use the non-filers tool. Otherwise, you do not need to use the non-filers tool, especially if you don't have any dependents. And if you have dependents and you needed to add them, it's too late for that anyway, and you will need to wait until the 2021 tax year when you file your 2020 taxes. It is not too late. You did not miss out. There are still 10 million checks to go out. The IRS is just slow. Thank you again so much for watching. Again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them either in the comments or in a future video. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe so that I can keep you up to date and answer all of your questions on your stimulus payment and stimulus checks. And thank you so much for hitting that like button and I will talk to you again soon.